Okay, guys. So uh, this is another fan trailer, uh, but this is of uh, Batman and Robin. <laughs> um, anytime anyone can uh, take a film that is uh, you know, not so loved by the fans and uh, kind of improve upon it uh, or try to, uh, you know, I'm interested. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at it, see what's uh, <laughs> see what's improved upon or not improved upon. Uh, and, you know, see what's up. So, that being said, I'll give you my thoughts at the end of it. Take a look. Congratulations. Batman monopolized the evening news. Huh. My only regret is that I was never able to be out there with you. Dr. Victor Freed, after his wife contracted a rare disease, Cryo solution mutated his body. He hoped the freezer would find a cure. Living in the shadow of the big bad bat. You don't need him. This is no partnership. Don't don't push me right now. Or what? Big bad bat? You know, right? Impressive. You honestly don't know, do you? I was hiding the pain all the time. He's sick. Alfred's not sick. I'm I'm asking you, partner, will you trust me now? You've done everything in your power, but none of us can control you. I must suffer. Gotham will suffer with me. So I I really like that one. Um, it <laughs> it made them feel like a lot better than it was, <laughs> and and I I can enjoy the movie for being one of those guilty pleasure movies. Royce likes it, you know, because you know, of course, he's four, almost five. Um, but I I I don't mind the movie now. I mean, there were years where I fucking hated that because I mean, it is, <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Um, but this this really made the movie. I, I think it. I think the thing I liked about this, it centered upon the one aspect of the movie that I felt worked really well, which was the the relationship between Bruce and Alfred. Um, that was the one thing that this movie had going for it. I didn't like George Clooney in the role of Batman. He wasn't very good as Batman. Because he didn't change any of the mannerisms. He was just George Clooney in a bad suit. That always, to me, that always felt off. I know Joel Schumacher had the mentality of, well, it's a comic book, we should lighten it up, it should be fun, sassy. That's not fucking Batman. Obvious to me, you've never picked up a modern Batman comic. It's probably back in the 50s, um, maybe the 60s. But to me, um, even if Batman kind of lightens his tone because he's found family, he's still somewhat tortured in a way. I mean, this is a guy who goes out night after night dressed as a bat. Um, so even if he's found a sense of family, he's still somewhat tortured. Um, <clears throat> he still has that sense of uh, he still has that sense of uh, you know, um, I guess tortured is probably as, as good a word as any. Um, you know, it's kind of like an empty cup. Even if it has a small hole in it, no matter how many times you fill it, eventually it's going to be empty again. And that's that I feel is always going to be Bruce Wayne. You know? um, and there's none of that in, in 
got man robbed. He's just a guy who's just happy go lucky. But the one thing I feel like George did right is he played a really great Bruce Wayne um, from the public persona to how he is with Alfred. Uh, I felt like that was the one thing where it's like, no, this this really works with with this movie, especially the love between those two. Uh, when he's thinking back to when uh, you know Alfred helped him, he's, you know, talking to Dick Grayson about Alfred. And, you know, you can see the hurt in his eyes. That was the one thing. You know, he apologizes for being you know, for ruining the, the franchise. And I don't I don't feel like that's necessarily fair. Um, let's put all of that weight on him. I feel like that was a group, you know, from the, the execs to Joel Schumacher to him. Uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a group thing. It's not just him. Because, you know, for everything that he did wrong, there wasn't one thing he did right, which was the relationship between him and Alfred. So that's one thing that this trailer did great, which was put that up on a pedestal, make that the focal point of the trailer. Because um, like I said, that, that makes this movie a lot more interesting um and then the other thing that i think this did right was the music um you know a good piece of music uh, my friend adam mullen does music and um he really got me to pay attention to how you know if someone's sitting there in a room and he's just kind of staring off in space if you have kind of a uh, a sassy tone or whatnot or uh, you know kind of a lighthearted tone it makes that scene that scene feel kind of you know, fun. Um, but if you have kind of a somber tone with music, you know, it makes it feel like, oh man, somebody just died. And that's, a, you know, if you go back and listen to the music of this, um, this is a perfect example of changing the tone of the film and the dialogue um, and everything in it. You know, especially when Mr. Freeze turns around and he's kind of gasping for air. That right there is horrifying with the music that's going on here and the kind of overtones that it's doing with the rest of the music. With the, with the, with the rest of the movie, um, you know, talking about death, and then you see Mr. Freeze kind of gasping for his last breath, and the music, like all of that together, is just, it's very creepy, horrifying. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And then when, you know, instead of saying, you know, when, when Bruce is talking to Dick, and, you know, instead of saying friend, partner, brother, you know, he just says, partner, will you trust me? Um, I like that. I never enjoyed the fact that he said brother because, um, you know, they don't have that relationship with the comics. You know, he's always a father figure, Dick Grayson um, and any of the Robins. Um, and I know in this franchise, they're a lot closer in age. Um, but it's like, look, man, you just got done adopting this dude. Like, you really want to call him brother? Like, that's just kind of weird to me. So I, I felt that in this trailer, just calling him partner, that that to me works, you know, because they're supposed to be like, look, you're putting your life out of the line. Calling him partner, like, that's appropriate you know um you guys are you know, guardians of gotham uh, and to have alicia silverstone like it it made it look like okay she's appropriate on the team uh you know uh I, again this really makes this movie look a lot better than than what we got <laughs> you know um so kudos to whoever did the trailer uh, you did a wonderful job i liked it um you know very 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 awesome uh so with that being said um let me know if you guys uh, like this trailer um, I will try to put a link to the uh, trailer in the description because um, uh, I think it's I think it's worth visiting and maybe check out some of the other stuff see what they have um, with that being said uh, everyone be genuine be safe and keep on kicking on guys